Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bobby Washington. I'm doing this video from my phone. This video is for artists on Pandora. If you see that message at the top right there, it says, due to our licenses, the songs on this album are only available for playback, for radio playback. Um, and this is a problem that I had for a minute and I couldn't resolve it until I emailed Pandora and they finally got back to me and gave me the, uh, the scoop on what I need to do to make this go away. Um, this would happen not only for this, but uh, also for a single, if you put a single, it would say, due to our licenses, uh, the song is only available for radio playback, right? So what do they do to resolve this issue? Here's my email. So basically, you have to um, visit the catalog play page in the back of your amp.pandora site. You go to artists, you click on the, the catalog, and basically it's a publishing issue. It's a publishing issue that's not being um, synced or merged together with the parent company. The company is uh, uh, Music Reports. Music Reports, also uh, Song Dex. Music Report owns Song Dex, and that's your songs in catalog are actually reported there. The same way you report your catalog to Sound Exchange and also ASCAP, you have to do the same thing. You have to upload all your IRC codes and your songs to this new company, Songdex, which is owned by MusicReports.com. Basically, Pandora um, paid these guys ahead of time um, to actually pay us. So we have to actually get with these guys. If you don't have an account with Songdex and uh, MusicReports.com, you have to create one um, on their websites in order to get paid. They're going to give you a W-9 form as well. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, and they're going to give you uh, the Excel sheet that you need to fill out for your songs to upload, just like you did on Sound Exchange. Now, why are they involved? Well, they are paying us for Pandora second tier and third tier. I thought that CD Baby paid for those tiers and Sound Exchange paid for the, the first tier, which is the, the ad um, advertisement tier, the first tier. I thought that um, CD Baby or TuneCore handled the rest of them, but I was wrong. Um, I found out that this company is the one that's gonna be paying you. And that's why you have to have a W-9 form on file with them and an account. Okay, so basically, um, when I clicked on this link here, let's go back, um, it actually took me to my catalog page. And I saw that the album in question had red marks. And those red uh, squares, it says, I need to resolve the publishing issue, which is over at musicreports.com um, and Sondex, right? Um, it should look like this. If it had no problem, it should be like, it should be blue, basically. It should be blue with a check mark and saying that it has premium um, access. It has all tiers for all uh, fans to listen to every tier of your music. It shouldn't just be on the free. It should be everywhere. So if you get that license issue, this is why. So to, to, get, um, to get past it, you have to go to Songdex, create an account there, right? Songdex, create an account there. Also go to musicreports.com, create an account there. And also give them a call. So maybe speak to Eric uh, DeLuca. That's the guy who I spoke to, a very nice gentleman over the phone. Um, maybe you can speak to him as well and the uh, royalty department and have him email you this same packet he emailed me. It has a blank template, it has a catalog instructions, and it has a W-9 tax form um, attached to this uh, email. And it says, Music Reports, uh, is more than happy to receive your publishing catalog that, uh, data. The best way to ensure all information is reflected correctly in our song deck system is to share an electronic catalog of your works listed, your administrative shares, and an Excel spreadsheet containing the following information. Title, composer, publisher, pro affiliations like ASCAP, BMI, um, percents, share control, territory control, which is worldwide, artists, album, and label. For your convenience, they've attached everything that we needed. So that's basically what you have to do in order for your songs to show up correctly in Pandora and not give you any kind of um, any kind of problem. You know, that that's pretty pretty much it. Um, so go ahead and set yourself up with the links below in this video. I'm gonna actually put a link to both sites, the uh, MusicReport.com as well. Let me turn my light back on as well as the song decks um, thing. To get to your AMP, I'll put that um, as well if you don't already have a, an account, um, if you haven't uh, claimed your artist page for Pandora, make sure you do so. 
um, with my link below. Do that. Claim your page. Um, claim, claim your album. And you can also submit your music now through this link. It's much easier to submit music these days to Pandora than it was um, even just a year ago. And, um, you know, now it's 2019 going to uh, 2020. But before that, 2015, it was really hard to really get your albums in there. I was fortunate out of 23 albums to get about uh, three albums in there. Um, so now I got five. You know, I just put two more in there um, this past week. I'm planning on uh, submitting the rest of my catalog um, this entire month. So I wish you guys success. Wish you guys luck. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I try to make as uh, many helpful videos as I can. I search the internet high and low for this um, for this particular issue. Actually, two years ago, and I can never find it. And I still can't find it. So I figured, let me go ahead and and you know get on the couch here and get on my little phone. And <laughs> I know I'm lazy with this video, but at least I made one to help you guys out. All right. But that's what it is, all right? Peace and blessings, Bobby Washington.